Hello again. In this video, we will continue with the basic hotel metrics. However, what we will include in uh, this case, the out of order and out of service rooms. So before it's interesting to know what's an out of order. So it's typically used when a room is being renovated, undergoing repairs and cannot be used. And the most important here that it cannot be used. And also we're having the out of service room that it's used to place a room in short term maintenance. And the importance here is to know that the out-of-service rooms do not deduct from inventory. So if we want to calculate uh, the hot end metrics like occupancy and available rooms, so we will see what's the influence if we're having an out-of-order or an out-of-service rooms. So imagine that we're having eight out-of-order rooms and seven out-of-service rooms. So what will happen here? So the total available rooms, it's 500 and I do deduct the out of order rooms only. Then regarding the occupancy, we're having the 400 rooms, okay? And we divided by the total available rooms, 492. Uh, it's important also to mention that some, uh, they use the total available rooms without deducting the out of order rooms in, uh, the reason to have the same uh, total available rooms all the time, not to have it changing over time. However, here it's based, what we are using, it's based on sellable rooms. The total, re uh, total revenue that we're having, it's the same. Since the number of occupied rooms, it's the same and the rates, they are the same. They didn't change from the first example. So it's $52,500. <clears throat> The average daily rate also it didn't change because the revenue didn't change, nor uh, the number of rooms. <clears throat> then we continue with the revenue per available room. What changed here is the total available room. So the total revenue, it's still the same. However, the total available rooms, it's 492 instead of 500. So here it's 106.7 and we see there is an increase in the rev bar due to the decrease in the total available rooms. The same for the gross operating profit per available room. Uh, so it's the total revenue, which is the same, minus the total variable cost, which is 400 times 20. It's also the same. However, what's changing here, it's the total uh, available rooms that it's 492. So as you can see here, also we're having a slight increase in the GOP par. Like this, we saw the two cases when we're having out of order and out of service room and when we don't have uh, any out of order or out of service rooms. If you're having any question, please write it down in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon.